Hey, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So a lot of people were requesting me to bring system design content on Take You Forward. So what I've done is I've got the best guy over on YouTube to get this content for you. So we have GKCS with us. Hey, Gaurav, what's up? Hey, Swiber, what's up? I'm good. What about me? It's going good, man. So like the people like the people who use Take You Forward, they're saying ki, Raj, bring system design content. And I thought I can make a roadmap. And that will be good. But then I thought, what if I bring you, that will be better or best. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's better. Yes, exactly. Because I thought if I make it, it'll be good. But if I bring you, uh, anyways, jokes, jokes apart. So today's video is going to be a roadmap or probably a path that anyone, I'm repeating this again, anyone can take. If you're a beginner who is preparing for system design interviews, if you're someone with a one year experience, if you're someone with two year, three year, doesn't matter. If you want to get into system design, we're going to bring you something today, which is going to be a game changer. Trust me, you can learn system design end to end for inter when you join companies, you're not going to be lost in those discussions. Isn't it Gaurav? Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. That's so, the intent. That's the intent. yeah, so it's just not for interviews. It's also for preparing you when you join these companies, because I know as a fresher, when you join a company, you're literally lost in these discussions. So Gaurav, what is system design? If someone is watching this and he doesn't know, what is system design? But system design is the easiest way to explain how a large company's code base is working. Mm -hmm. You write code, which is one file. Mm -hmm. And then if you write 20 pieces of code, that's 50, 60 pieces of files. Uh, that, that code is written by one team. Now imagine a large company where you have 10 teams or 20 teams. Mm -hmm. They need to work together. Yeah. So you need to know how the code is working at a high level. Not even at the layer of code, but at the layer of APIs. Yes. Yeah. Uh, then you go even on the higher, you go on traps. So, this is where system design comes in, where different teams talk to each other and understand how another system is working and how they can use it. Got it. So, um, you meet all the environments based on these contracts. So, Gaurav, can I say that this thing that you've prepared, like this particular roadmap where people get everything right from end to end, is this the place where anyone can start? Because as a beginner, what I've seen is people spend like one month to research where to start, where to start, and then that loop, right? So, can I say, if they come over here, they can directly start off and they don't need to go anywhere else. Can I say this? Yeah, you can say that. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's been designed for all the students. Mm -hmm. Roadmap that we have created. 100%. Don't waste your time, uh, you know, finding the perfect starting point because the end goal is the same. And you can always do a uh, test for search. Exactly. So just go through the links. And if you like the links, then read more about them. But don't waste your time thinking about, I have to do these things, then I can start. Just go through this. Yeah, so I think you should definitely go through this one. Just start and if in play like with any tof topic, if you feel like you need more, you can definitely then search a bit more and learn about it. But just uh, like don't don't procrastinate about these things. So before moving ahead in the video, I'm going to tell you about the five new hot tech jobs in the market that you can directly apply now to get an early access. Now, these jobs are for software developers and the companies that are hiring are Academy, PhonePay, Graphy, Cash free payments and phone pay. Now, all of these jobs are listed on Next Level. Now, what is Next Level? Next Level is a hiring platform that uses AI to access your skills and matches you with your relevant job opportunities. Now, using AI will be giving you an edge over all the other candidates. So, once you create a profile, you need to take an AI powered interview. And once you clear this interview, you will be directly eligible to apply for a job. So, applying through Next Level has a few benefits. One of them is definitely showcasing your personality and expertise through video responses to the interview questions. Now, by doing this, what you can do is you can get through the first HR round easily and you can directly apply for the job interview. So there will be no HR round because you would have already cleared it. So what are you waiting for? The application window for all these jobs will be closing in a week. So don't wait. There's a link in the description. Make sure you apply right away. Okay, so Gaurav, uh, I see like you guys can see the roadmap on the screen and we have something as part one basics. So what is this? I, I can open this like, can you just give a walk through this like? If someone doesn't know it. Yeah. So when you are learning about system design, there are certain things that you need to know about absolutely. Without it, there is no system on the pad which works without. Mm -hmm. For example, you can see what is a cache. Mm -hmm. what, are, uh, what is horizontal and vertical scale. So these concepts, even medium sized companies need to know about it. And all the engineers need to know about it. So all the basic concepts have been put over here. Mm -hmm. So that you can just consume that here. This is something you have to Got it. So along with this, uh, can I say this that your core subjects like operating system or something like computer networks or DBMS, they should also be crystal clear. 
Crystal clear is always scary down for me because can you have to keep studying, keep studying, yeah, not crystal clear at all. So yeah. my suggestion would be look at the topic. If you don't understand, can you can you know go for additional study. Um, there is never going to be a point when you say I'm a hundred or hundred. Mm-hmm. But the best thing is you can do this with fifty or a hundred. Got it. If you don't know whether you're fifty or forty or eighty, mm-hmm. try it out. If you don't understand, go study the topic. Perfect. So if you're starting with the basics topic, like you're watching a video, if you're watching, if you're reading some blogs. Any topic you don't understand and you feel that, okay, maybe I've studied it a couple of years back. Just go back and l- like learn about that topic and then come back and resume. That is how you should do this basic section. After that, we come across load balancing. And uh, this is something which is like a very famous term. I keep hearing about this term on LinkedIn. Uh, maybe you can, India-Pakistan match, good example. Uh, so India-Pakistan match is a, is a good example. Uh, for example, you have a lot of users from yeah. India. Mm-hmm. India, Pakistan, Maxi, exactly. Maybe suddenly swarming the Hotstar servers. Right. So, and at the same time, there may be a, a season launch of mm-hmm. Game of Thrones in the US, yeah. in Europe. So, you have their traffic. So, how do you make sure that different types of users who are, produce, uh, who are consuming different types of content are sent to the right places? Correct. And it should be like Europe is running at 10% and India is running at 95%. Exactly. So you want to take some of the load away from here and put yeah. it out there. Mm-hmm. How do you take load mm-hmm. and put it somewhere so you're balancing the load? Balancing the load. Exactly. exactly. Perfect, perfect uh, explanation. So we have attached videos from Gaurav's YouTube channel. So he's going to explain exactly in the similar fashion. And trust me, I've been studying from you, I think from 2017, 18, when you were making these courtship solutions. So yeah, he, he, he was the first guy who was making courtship solutions. So you can just study from these videos. And uh, going forward, data stores, uh, I think self-explanatory databases. Yeah, yeah, databases are basically data structures at the yeah. end of the day. Exactly. On hardware. Mm-hmm. When, uh, Different types of data structures, um, and how do you? Hmm. Yes. So you, yeah. So most of the times, uh, over Twitter, over LinkedIn, you'll keep hearing about these things, uh, MySQL or like no SQL, like like you, you'll keep hearing these terms. So it's important that you know what are these things. Otherwise, there will be discussions and be like, oh yeah, recap. So it's better that you should know about these things as well. Consistency uh, versus yeah. What about this? Oh yeah. This is my favorite tax theorem, the most irrelevant topic ever. But to tag it as irrelevant, you have to actually understand why or what it means. Uh, or why is it sometimes you know, so important? So what is data consistency? Uh, what are some trade-offs, transactions, uh, the gap theorem in its setting? Mm-hmm. So what we have done here is we have picked up just three videos, mm-hmm. like, but they are in such detail okay. that after this, you, you probably won't have any doubts on what is data consistency. What, what? How is it related to availability? Mm-hmm. Like, um, I've seen so many interviews about, oh, is your system consistent or available? So you may not be understanding this. This is the first time you're watching our system design video. Mm-hmm. But trust me, this is such a common misconception that interviews and and even engineers have that it's good to go through this. Got it. So, yeah, like we'll not go into depth because uh, you'll not understand unless until you go through these topics. So the next one is message queues. You can definitely go through this as well. And after this, this is DevOps concepts. Now, I'll tell you about like, God of, uh, I'll, I'll share my experience with single point of failure. So recently we launched merchandise store and we have a payment gateway. So we had just one payment gateway and that uh, went down. So this is what you call as a single point of failure. So when you are too much dependent on one thing and it goes down, your entire thing is down. So like, I know one thing for sure, God of, uh, technically it's not 100% possible to achieve, uh, like to remove this thing, the single point of failure. Uh, what's your viewpoint on this? Yeah, single point of failure, if you see, Elon Musk is trying to get rid of it by sending us to Mars. Because if an asteroid makes out, we lose everything. So that's the whole concept that you don't have all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. Now, it's not possible sometimes because you can't move away from the basket or you can't afford that many eggs. You have to run it in one basket. Um, and all of these concepts which are around how do you maintain your system, how do you make sure that even if one crashes, like the Indian server crashes in the lab, India versus Pakistan, gave them. how do you take everybody and put them quickly to Europe? Got it. So, uh, these things are done in the background. Mm-hmm. Ideally, you don't even want to know that this happened. Mm-hmm. You later on want to see it in the it's very good, not in the, in the real life match. So, uh, these things will help you understand as an engineer how it works in the behind the scenes. Just like databases, you don't work with every day. Mm-hmm. But it happens behind the scenes that you should know about it. Cool, so. Yeah, so do go through it uh, because it's actually important if you're designing something. Uh, and when it's good to know about these things, caching, uh, my favorite topic. It's I think uh, I think it's in every system. Can like if you don't put it, then either either you are as you said, uh, Ambani, Ambani. <laughs> if, you're not putting, yeah. if you're not putting it, I think uh, 
I think I'm going to add something. Uh, I think this is one of the topics which as a fresher, you relate a lot because you learned about data structures. You have been like, this is one of the concepts like the hashing concept is primarily used here and uh, probably one of the data structures which you will see on a daily basis, which is hashing. So do, do, do we need to explain much more about this caching? No, not at all. Uh, caching is just keeping your part of a database in memory. Yeah. So you toss this time. It's unless until you're Ambani, right? Unless until you're Ambani. <laughs> Anyways, let's move to the next one. Microservices. Uh, I think on Twitter, on LinkedIn, microservices versus monolith. The world keeps, okay, microservices are very good. Monolith. So it keeps like, the opinion keeps changing, isn't it? So, yeah, exactly. So the old point is, guys, if you are going to join a company, mm -hmm. like no company is going to tell you, oh, they tell me about microservices and monoliths. But that's not the point. Once you join a company, you are likely to be working in a place which either has microservices mm -hmm. or has some of those concepts. Exactly. So it's best to know how you're going to be writing code. Like I said, code lines won't make any sense. It's teams, it's people who write this code, maintain it, and talk to each other. So these pieces of code, how do they interact with each other is more important sometimes. Then how fast is the code? Right, right. Okay. Yeah. And then these architectures will let you understand how that works. It's it's an important topic. Do not miss it. No matter which company you join, you got to have an idea about how things work. So it's a, it's a very important. API gateways, uh, I think uh, it's, it's something which is in every system. So uh, going to authentication, uh, again, if you're uh, like, I think what is the best way to learn authentication? It's definitely like wa watching these videos, but do you think like uh, implementing a project will he like help them understand these topics? 100%. Right. You have your GWD token. Yeah, exactly. So I have seen many GitHub projects of people in second year or third year mm -hmm. who have quit their uh, GitHub token. So, uh, in that they learn. So, yes. Uh, and it's good also. Yeah. In, in, six. In, in almost every uh, system that you go in, there's a login stuff, right? So, it's very important to learn it. And the best way, is definitely read about this and probably implement uh, some of the uh, things so that you understand how it is working behind the scene as well. You come to the implementation part afterwards, system design trade-offs. Uh, whenever you design a system, you just cannot uh, make sure that everything is, what do you say, like, what proverb to use? Perfect. Everything is perfect, yeah. So yeah, when you design a system, everything cannot be perfect. You cannot satisfy 100% of the users. So you got to trade off something between. So these things are something where like these topics you got to cover. After that, practice problems got to, I think every system does an interview. They're like design a WhatsApp, design a Tinder. So if, 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 if they practice these things, uh, can I say that uh, if I suddenly give an out of the box system and with all the concepts, I think they will be able to solve it. Do you think? Yeah, they should be. Uh, I mean, of course, uh, they see a lot of, Problems. Mm -hmm. So if you go through all of them, it's not just like you've learned how to solve that problem. Get a holistic picture. For example, you mentioned caching authentication. Mm -hmm. So all these things are just general. So you get to learn that. Uh, there are certain things you learn in certain systems. But so for example, payments. I mean, how do you manage payments on? Uh, how do you manage Google Maps? So location-based databases. Mm -hmm. Just single concepts when you pick them up, then you build the overall understanding. Got it. When you're given a movie. Yeah. yeah. Like, so remember one thing. Yeah. Sorry, got it. So. I think one thing I'd definitely like to mention over here is people are coming from the DS algo world. So in data structured algorithm, there is like one or two optimal solutions and you got to give that solution, right? Or somewhere near about that. In system design, it's always an open-ended discussion where you talk about trade-offs. So you can never have a perfect answer and there is no certain answer to anything. Like God of my design, WhatsApp in some different way, I might design it in some different way. So it's not a necessity that how he has taught in this video, you have to exactly put the same things in the interview. Your brain can work better than both of us and you can probably design something better. So it's always an open-ended discussion. So make sure that you don't take it as DSL go. System design is something different. So go through all of these practice problems and uh, try to design these systems on your end. After this, we come up to additional resources. After you've gone through all of these things, if you still need something else, you can definitely go through these uh, additional resources. One of the resources I'll recommend is Gaurav's interview ready course. Why am I saying that is? Gaurav, uh, one appreciation a post from me. I was going through your interview ready course because recently I've been trying to learn system design because it's required because we're also building a product. So we need it. So I was reading a lot of concepts. One thing that stood out was the premium community you have, because I do read the comments on the YouTube videos. Comments are great. Uh, sometimes you get comments like, uh, love you, Bahia, and all of these things makes me feel good. But when I was going through uh, the comments of your course, like the questions asked, 
by these engineers, like some of them were staff, maybe some of them were managers. The questions, the level of questions, they're like amazing. And the discussion thread, I think that's something which is very great about your course and really well managed. So if you are planning to take an interview, like a course around system design, I think you should not look beyond uh, interview ready system design because it's highly affordable and it's something you should not miss out. So out of three things, which stands out for your course, like if you want to say. Um, we have a lot of content. Yeah. We have over 26 yeah. years on system design. And the content is actually updated via MCG, adding misprint consensus, mm -hmm. find more videos. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so this keeps happening, we keep adding content. You mentioned about the community, which is amazing. I love taking, uh, you know, every, every two months we meet uh -huh. and we discuss the system, we discuss doubts on system design and the conversations are amazing. Yeah, I can, I can realize uh, when staff engineers, directors, managers sit around, it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be something like you're working in a company. They yeah, they, they are amazing. Very, very all. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's amazing. You know, and it's lifetime ability, so they keep coming back. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, all the videos are lifetime ability. Mm -hmm. the, there are unlimited classes for, uh, for the price. Because for me, it's just like taking a class. So, for me, it's the economy of scale. And for everyone else, it's like an amazing place. To be. Exactly. So, uh, a lot of content. Constant updates with the latest, uh, you know, things in system design and I be of course, amazing community which meets like every, every month. Nice, nice. So, uh, anything special for TK Forward, uh, like people coming in from TK Forward? Any discount you're going to give? TK Forward is actually the name of the coupon. Uh, okay. Like, okay. Before you make your okay. It's going to give you an amazing discount. Okay. It's the best discount out there. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, it's just for Spiral and Spiral's <laughs> community. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So, you. you yeah, you can definitely apply the coupon. Uh, take you forward. It's EU, not YOU. It's EU. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yes. Uh, so we put up this entire resources over here. Uh, if you're starting off, there's a link in the description. Make sure you check out all of these resources. I think it's more than enough to start and understand how things work. And it is important because nowadays everyone knows system design, and a lot of companies have starting have started to have like one round of system design. So it's important you know around it and. I feel going forward, there's going to be a bunch of system design rounds uh, coming across in most of the levels. So it's good that you start preparing and it'll be slightly easier when you join company. So Gaurav, uh, thank you so much for helping me uh, with the compilation of resources. Uh, uh, it's It will help everyone out there, trust me. And thank you for bringing out uh, videos. Uh, you started putting out a lot of content on YouTube recently. So in case you haven't checked out Gaurav's channel, he keeps on talking about system design and all of these things. So make sure you check it out. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, once again, thank you, Gaurav, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll do some more videos in the future. And uh, yes, uh, we have done videos on DSA, if you want videos on other stuff also. <laughs> exactly. Uh, cool. Uh, so um, in case you're still watching, the link will be in the description. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to uh, Strive and Take You Forward's channel, and uh, also check out Gaurav's channel and subscribe to him as well. Yeah, with this, we'll be wrapping up this video. Uh, let's read some of the video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. Whenever your heart is broken,